Assalamualaikum, Amanah Maria. Assalamualaikum, Amanah Rabia. Welcome to Malik Rex channel. Today we are going to react on a video Bangladesh, the land of rivers, the 10 best places to visit in Bangladesh, mm -hmm. and the channel is around the world. Let's watch it. Yes. Covered in greenery, as well as undulating hills, Bangladesh is one of the most mysterious and wonderful lands in South Asia. The people of Bangladesh are famously friendly and welcoming, and the country is full of cultural wonders. Bangladesh, which means the land of the Bengals, is one of the most populated countries in the world, with an estimated 170 million people. In the past, Buddhists ruled for centuries, but by the 10th century, Bengal was primarily Hindu. In 1576, Bengal became part of the Mughal Empire, and the majority of East Bengalis converted to Islam. Bengal was ruled by British India from 1757 until Britain withdrew in 1947. After this time, the province of Bengal was partitioned into East Bengal and West Bengal, ruled by Pakistan. In 1971, Bangladesh fought Pakistan for independence and became the independent country Bangladesh that it is today. Bangladesh has no major rivers that originate within the country's territory. Thus, Bangladesh lacks full control over the flow of any of the streams that irrigate it. In addition, there are many severe storms during the rainy season. Each year between June and October, the rivers overflow their banks and inundate the countryside. The inundations are both a blessing and a disaster. Without them, the fertile silt deposits would not be replenished, but severe floods regularly damage crops and sometimes take a heavy toll on human and animal populations. The typical household in Bangladesh, particularly in the villages, includes several generations of extended family. Most marriages are arranged by parents or other relatives, but increasing numbers of educated men and women choose their own partners. The best time to discover Bangladesh is from October to March. The easiest and cheapest way to get around is by rickshaw. The rickshaws in Bangladesh are unique and colorful. Bangladesh is covered by more than 700 rivers, producing a deliciously lush landscape with more shades of green than you ever imagined. Traveling by boat is a way of life here and provides a fabulous opportunity to see the country from a more unusual angle. As an untouristed destination, Bangladesh also lacks much infrastructure and traveling around can be hard work. So don't try to pack too much into your journey. It's a place to relax, meet people, and discover new ideas and ways of life. English is not widely spoken, which can make independent travel difficult in more rural areas. Younger people, e.g. students, are more likely to speak English than the older generations. You can ask them for help. Here are the best places to visit in Bangladesh. 1. Dhaka City Dhaka is the capital of Bangladesh. It's the largest city in Bangladesh and one of the most crowded cities in the world. It is reported that 2,000 people move to Dhaka every day. Among the landmarks in Dhaka, the Lalbagh Fort and Asan Manhil are two of the most visited sites. 2. Cox's Bazaar Cox's Bazaar is one of the most popular places for tourists in Bangladesh, visited all year round. It has the longest unbroken sandy beach in the world, 120 kilometers in length. A perfect place to relax at the end of a long trip. The wholesale fish market would be an interesting place to visit while you're here. 3. Chittagong Chittagong is the largest and most progressive city after Dhaka. 
The glorious Chittagong Hill tracks are arguably the area's most famous natural spot, and definitely worth seeing. Chittagong Hill Tracks area is a naturally beautiful place full of beautiful hills. It is home to many tribal groups of Bangladesh. You can trek deep inside the hills for many days here, if you can get permission from the local authorities. Also, you can meet different tribal groups in this region and see their lifestyle. 4. Silhet City Silhet is a naturally beautiful place in the northeastern part of Bangladesh, close to India. Not only is it one of the country's greenest districts, it also has the highest amount of rainfall. Silhet is popular for its lakes and other water bodies, and it is also home to many tea gardens and small, tropical forests. 5. St. Martin's Island Located close to Cox's Bazaar in the Bay of Bengal, St. Martin's Island is a small and very popular island, frequented by tourists from all around the world. The island is tiny and can be explored within a day. No vehicles are allowed on the island either, making it a pollution-free territory. 6. Barisal Barisal is a unique place located in the heart of the Ganges Delta. Life in Barisal is fully based on the river. You can visit its many floating markets, bazaars, schools, and villages to experience the unique culture of Barisal. 7. Sundarbans Mangrove Forest The Sundarbans is one of the largest mangrove forests in the world. It's home to the last remaining Bengal tigers in the world, and much other wildlife. The environment of Sundarbans is tranquilizing, and visiting this forest could be a once-in-a-lifetime experience. 8. Sri Mangal Located in the northwest of Bangladesh, Sri Mangal is one of the greenest places in the country. It consists of acres upon acres of wondrous tea gardens and sprawling fields, dotted with tranquil lakes. 9. Bandarban Located at the south of Chittagong, Bandarban is also another popular destination for hikers and trekkers, dotted with hills and lakes that will etch beautiful memories in your mind. Nilachal Point is the most popular destination in Bandarban. From here, you can see the entire Bandarban cityscape. 10. Shinargan. Once a bustling river port, Shinargan traditionally was a popular hub for Muslim traders in the late 1800s. It is jam-packed with museums and architectural landmarks, and today it is a popular tourist destination. Okay, wow, it's a beautiful video. It's a lot of places we can visit in Bangladesh. Yeah. I love the last one. Yeah. yeah. I know why, because of the architecture. Yeah. And the building is about uh, history. And your favorite must be the, the spot yeah. for hikers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't remember the name of the place, mm -hmm. but it's okay. Can we watch this video again? But yeah, so for uh, I can say two years, I do reaction for a Bangladesh video. Uh, half of these places I never heard before. That means I never do reaction for those places. Uh, only the first five places I know: Houses Bazaar, Dhaka City, Silet, Chittagong. Yeah. And the rest, I um, not this discover yet. <laughs> so there are places that cover with the water. Mm. Uh -huh. I'm wondering, uh, with the rainfall, uh, is there any flood 
uh, going on. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the place near Barisal. If I'm not mistaken, oh, okay. yeah, the the activities, the transport, mostly by the boat. Hmm. So yeah, but I believe that that uh, those people who live there, they know what to do when the seasons come. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Two thousand people. Moving to, to Dhaka. Dhaka City every wow. day, not every week, but every day. No mm. wonder it's packed. Yes, yeah, mm. super duper packed, and there's the old Dhaka and new Dhaka as well. Mm. So I believe Dhaka is super huge. Yeah, that's why uh, she mentioned it's the most uh, busiest city, city in the world. <laughs> Okay, so that's all for our video today. We really enjoyed this video. Thank you so much to those who recommend us this video. If you like this video, please share it to your family members and friends. Don't forget to share it to your social media as well. Please subscribe our channel, Malaga Rex, and turn on notification button so you guys won't miss our latest video. Please follow our social media account, Facebook and TikTok Malaga Rex. See you guys at our next video. Bye. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum.